Good morning, everybody. Welcome back and thank you for joining me. Uh, today is, I always have to look at my watch because I never know what day it is. Uh, Thursday, September 3rd. I can't believe it's September 3rd already. But September, you know what that means? It's my birthday month. Not that it means anything, but I'm excited. It's September. Kids go back to school next week. We have decided to send them to school. Cross our fingers um, and hopefully all goes well. Um, so, you know, we're all a little nervous about that, but I can't have them here at home with me anymore. Six months of this is driving me insane. Um, they need to go back to school. They need to learn. They need to have that social, you know, thing with their friends and see their friends and their teachers and all of that. So fingers crossed everything goes well next week when they go back to school. Construction has been a madhouse. Um, when I did my video last, the rainbow black and white. I had literally just finished recording and out of nowhere comes the HVAC guy and says, okay, I'm here. And I'm like, you didn't tell us you were coming today. Like, so he showed up unexpectedly, had to come down to the basement, put holes in the ceiling. So I'm panicking. So I literally tarped off the entire wall with tarp and painter's tape and crossed my fingers that there was no sawdust or um, drywall dust anywhere uh, on my painting. And luckily there wasn't. Whew. I must have done a good job taping and tarping everything off because the other side, like everything was covered in dust. It was ridiculous. So hopefully that's done with. Um, I will be doing a reno vlog video within the next couple of days. It's been a slow process. It, there's been no action going on for the last uh, three to four business days, or actually five almost, which is actually really annoying me, but I guess that's the life of construction. I'm at the mercy of when these people are available. I was told today that they'd maybe come this afternoon or tomorrow to finish off the concrete walls and footings. Framing was supposed to start next week. That got pushed by a week, so. I barely even started and I'm already like up to here. So please pray for me. <laughs> um, anywho, um, if you're subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. Um, and if you're not, please subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, head on over to Lucas's channel as well. He's my son. He's my nine-year-old son, soon to be 10-year-old in September as well. Um, and it's his birthday coming up as well, but uh, he has his own YouTube channel with his trains and his model HO scale train. So head on over to Lucas Soraco and I would love it if you subscribe there and don't forget Juno and Echo. I've been, uh, I added a new video the other day. I'll be adding another one, um, hopefully tomorrow. So I kind of neglected that with everything going on. I'm kind of running out of time and you know, at night I just want to sit and relax. <laughs> so it's been pretty busy and pretty crazy. Um, it's a long weekend for us. We have a holiday on Monday. Look, I'm peeling resin. Um, but yeah, so I think that's it. I've got uh, the blue color split that I did it has been resined and oh my gosh. You know, a lot of people ask me, do you ever sell pieces and wish you hadn't? Um, like, are there any pieces you wish you would never let go, you never have let go? And I, you know, typically I'm like, no, I'm good with, you know, selling everything. But there have been two pieces in the last little while that I have loved so much um, that I kind of wish they were hanging up on my wall. And that is the blue um, color split that I did with the greenish blue by Amsterdam. And then also the triptych I did with the black and the white. Um, and that one was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, so I'm going to show you some of those. Um, yeah, I'll show you some of those outside in the sunlight. Uh, and I think that's it. Uh, to those of you who have donated to my PayPal account, thank you so much, everybody. Um, it's greatly appreciated. Um, and that's it. I think I'm going to stop. As I was saying, I think I'm going to stop rambling now and we'll get down to the painting and I'll show you guys what I'm up to. Be right back.
I'm ready to go here. So today I am doing another diptych and each canvas is 10 by 20 inches. And what I've decided to do is I still had leftover paint from when I did my greenish blue um, color split and I didn't want to waste it, nor did I want it sitting in a cup for months and months. So I figured I would use that color again, only this time I added a, a drop or two of uh, white paint. So I added a drop or two of the titanium white from Artist Loft um, just to make it a little lighter. But of course, when I did my bead across, this one doesn't have white in it, so it's a little darker. You might be able to see it, you might not, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter because I'm gonna blow it out anyway. And then on the other side, we've got, where is it? Right here, bright, yeah, aqua green, which is from Artist Loft, or the bright aqua green from Liquitex Basics, um, which is what's in my squeeze bottle. They're literally the exact same color, so it's no big deal. And I've done that on that side. I have flooded my white in the center. And if you want to know how I mix my ratios for my Dutch pours, you can check it out in video number 63. I will link it up at the top for those of you who are new watching my channel and watching my videos. Video number 63 is a full tutorial on how I mix my paints and the ratios that I use for my Dutch pours. That video is solely for um, Dutch pour mixing. I don't do any other techniques. A lot of people have said, hey, why don't you try something different? And I say, why fix what's not broken? Um, I like Dutch pours. Dutch pours are what sell for me. Um, I've tried a few other techniques and stuff, and yet the stuff is still sitting in my basement. <laughs> so uh, I don't want to be making a bunch of things that I'm not 100% sure someone's going to buy or not. So... Anywho, okay, um, the colors I'm using today are Iridescent Blue Green by Pebeo Studio Acrylics, then I have Dioxazine Purple by Liquitex Basics, then I have Iridescent Green Blue by Pebeo, and then finally Phthalo Blue by Grumbacher Academy. But um, on this side, I'm going to use the greenish blue, which is this. And then on this side, I'm going to use the bright aqua green or the light aqua green on this side by Liquitex Basics. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get started because it's kind of shifting on me as I'm talking here. So let's see, we're starting down here. Let's go down here. And I'm kind of doing this like as quick as possible because my dogs are upstairs on their own. <laughs> Nobody's watching them because Sophia is at my mom's house for the week. She went over there last week and she's playing with her cousins. And actually, I'm going to do this side so that I can. She's slept over there for the week, hanging out with her cousins. And Lucas is next door and he had a sleepover with his buddy Marcus. So I'm kidless. Well, human kidless but uh the dogs are upstairs on their own which uh i don't really know what they're doing but if you hear any barking or any like loud noises i apologize in advance because there's nobody up there watching them so i will try and do this as quick as possible and move on all right, there's something else I wanted to say and I can't remember what it was. That's how fast my brain forgets things. All right. There we go. Colors are down. I'm going to just quickly torch the bubbles out of these colors. I know there was something else I wanted to tell you guys and I just simply can't remember what it was. It'll come to me after I finish recording and all that as usual. Okay, so let's blow this out and uh, see what happens here. Very thick. But the colors are so pretty.
Wow, my paints were so thick. That's crazy. Obviously, the, the green and the blue I mixed way too thick. However, the colors are stunning. I'm really happy with the colors. But that was, that was a challenge. It was super thick, very, very thick. Because you could see in the, as I was blowing, they weren't moving as fluid as they should be. Now what I want to do is I want to get rid of this little white stripe here. Because I don't like it. My other problem was I didn't have enough um, of this base down. However, I love the white negative space here in the middle. It's gorgeous. And I love how this matches and how this almost matches, but I'll make it match. I don't want to push it too far. So that'll do right there. I really love the colors. It's so pretty. Didn't like that white little stripe there. Let's see. Wow, it's super pretty. Now I don't have like crazy cells going because as you can tell, I didn't use the deco art silver metallic silver or the metallic gold there's actually no metallics at all in these colors so if you don't want too much like cells too many cells don't use metallics because metallics is what really gives you a lot of cells here and i didn't use any i didn't want to use any this time i wanted to see what it would be like without it so i'm wondering if i should touch anything over here if I can even reach all right I'm not sure I want to touch anything else to be honest with you I think I actually really like it the way it is of course I'm going to touch up the sides because I can see a few sides here that have bare canvas but other than that I think I'm going to leave it I'm not going to touch any of it and I'm going to bring you guys down for a close up to have a better, better look because these colors are very rich and very vibrant. So I'll be right back. All right, guys. So here it is. I fixed up the sides, obviously. Um, and now here we have. It's just so rich in color. I'm really liking how different this one is. A lot. Actually, this is a really pretty color. <laughs> Look at that. And I didn't torch any of it, and I don't plan on torching any of it. I don't like the million teeny tiny microscopic cells that pop up when you torch it. So I'm not touching it at all. It's just so pretty. It's just so rich. And I'm hoping, crossing my fingers, because it's been happening a little bit lately, um, I'm hoping it does not shift or move. I'm not touching these. I'm not moving them. I made sure they were level before I started. But then again, you never know, right? Paint moves no matter what. It will move on you. So don't forget also, guys, to scrape your bottom of your canvases. Get rid of these drips. These drips are going to pull the paint you see those drips those drips will continue to pull the paint from the top of your canvas right down and kind of ruin your composition as well okay so make sure you scrape those drips come back 10 minutes later and scrape it again overall though i'm really happy with this piece it's so pretty so if you are interested in this piece you can email me at canela Siraco at gmail.com. I'm going to show you guys the piece with the studio lights off as well. Um, thank you to everyone who purchased pieces from my sale that I had in the last video 
where I showed you guys all the pieces that were currently available. Um, most have sold. I have a few pieces left, um, like the big 16 by 20 orange piece. The abstract pieces are still available. The, the ones I did with the alcohol ink. And I believe the ballerina is still available. But I think everything else has sold. So if you're interested in any of those pieces, let me know. Okay, let's turn the studio lights off and see what it looks like. All right, and here we are with the studio lights off. A little bit of shimmer going on in there. That would be, look, it's so pretty, from the iridescence from the Pebeo Studio Acrylics paints. Oh, this is so nice. When this dries and gets crystal resin, it is going to be stunning. Now, speaking of crystal resin, I know, I know, I know you guys are waiting for the code. I promise I will have it um, this week sometime, hopefully by the end of the week, and I will let you guys know as soon as I know, guys. It's not in my control. I cannot control it. I'm waiting for um, the owner to get everything. He had to wait for a shipment to come in before I could release the code because it's no good if I release the code and everyone starts buying and the shipment's not delivered yet. So that's what pushed us all back is waiting for the shipment to arrive of all the resin. So I'm hoping to have it within the next couple of days and I will let you know as soon as I have it. Um, so again, if you're interested in this piece, 10 by 20 inch diptych, please email me at canelasiraco at gmail.com. Check out all my social media links in the description below. My Amazon links, click on my Amazon shops and shop away. Um, it really helps me when you click through my links. What else is down there? PayPal, um, Loli Vefi, if you guys... Uh, you can see here my Loli Vefi bottles. I've got a ton of them. Um, you can save 10% off your entire Loli Vefi order using code Canela10. These are the best bottles I've ever used. I will never change from them because these twist caps are super easy and they're easy to clean and they don't give me any trouble at all. So a lot of people ask me about this thing here um, where can you buy it where did I buy it you cannot buy it anywhere my father built it for me um, so that is something my daddy made me um, but yeah it's pretty simple well at least for my dad um, I'll show you guys real quick that's the rainbow pour drying bad lighting I apologize I use the lowly Vefi mats um, for drying on my drying rack I used to use newspaper what a nightmare that was um, you know, the push pins would get stuck to the newspaper and then rip everything up. It was, the newspaper would also get stuck underneath here. It was a nightmare. Ever since I put down the lowly Vefi mats, it's been so easy. Um, yes, another periwinkle, um, piece. I had to do two of them for a client. So more periwinkle commissions, bunch of junk down there. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so there you have it. Quick little show and tell. But uh, that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next one, guys. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye.